meteorologist Lindsay Slater. All right, your weather story. Well, some areas are getting a little bit of fog, but I'm also tracking some scattered storms, and you might have actually heard some thunder out there. And you may be thinking, really? We have some rain right now? Yeah, we actually have some thunderstorms that are popping up. Let me go ahead and show you the early warning Doppler radar. And you can see some of these have really, I just heard some thunder now. <laughs> some of these have really blossomed up over the past hour. They were kind of isolated first. Now they're becoming more scattered. So there's really nothing to worry about with these. Heavy rain. That's kind of it, folks. Lightning as well. Lightning is also a pretty uh, big hazard with some of these thunderstorms, but there's not a lot of energy in the atmosphere. These are rolling their way over off toward the east very slowly, taking their time, which does increase that flooding threat. Also seeing some of those storms north of Miller along 160 and also near Lamar and Sheldon right along 49. So this is a trend that I will be monitoring throughout the morning for you. Is it going to be all day? No. And it's not going to be widespread. We're just going to see on and off chances of scattered showers and thunderstorms moving over off toward areas in Rogers and Salem Springs. Not seeing a lot of activity, but you always got to look to the west. And we have some more storms right now in northeastern Oklahoma. So I'll be monitoring that situation as they start to roll in. So basically, if you want to recap all that, Bring your umbrella as you're heading out the door. Our flash flood watch does continue until 1 p.m., which means it was extended. And that is a trend that I'll be watching today because flooding could be an issue. Republic camera looking good and overcast this morning. And as I mentioned, tracking some of that lightning out there as well. 75 degrees as you're planning out your day. Temperatures are going to get a little bit warmer, so it's not going to be like the past few days where we just topped out in the low 80s and mid 70s. We're talking today mid and upper 80s, and we're back to that heat index thing, which may feel like the mid 90s, and that's going to feel cool compared to what I'm expecting this weekend. So here's that trend. We have that area of low pressure. It'll finally, it'll finally get out of here as we head into the weekend, but that area of low pressure is still here for now, along with that stationary boundary, so that means we will still see the increased chances of scattered thunderstorms. Again, as I mentioned, not severe because all the energy is in Oklahoma and it's over off in Kansas. So today on our early warning threat track, it is a two. Lightning is your primary threat and also that flooding I'll be monitoring. And this future clouds and radar model is really picking up on the activity pretty well here. It's really showing us the coverage of where I'm expecting storms today. This is 8 a.m. and a lot of it's still south of 44. And for the most part today, that's where I'm expecting it to stay. Now, a couple of storms may stray a little bit. You can see some popping up near Bolivar and over off in Lawrence County, but it's not going to be long lived. And these storms getting out of here as we head into the evening hours, which is great news. How much rain could we see? Some areas may get a lot more than others. Some may get, you know, a third of an inch, while others may get upwards of one to even two inches. So that's why we're still monitoring that flooding threat for you. And again, still watching as those storms continue to roll their way over off to the east. Your full seven-day forecast does feature isolated storms tomorrow, but the temps heating up. Saturday and Sunday, toasty, 94 and 93. And then storms try to make a comeback with a cold front as we end into the middle of next week. Happening now, we're now on day four of the Milwaukee Lion Watch. The police department there still getting reports after some caught this on camera strolling through a neighborhood. The hashtag Milwaukee Lion now trending on Twitter with people posting photos and jokes about the animal. But as Myra Sedgick shows us, it's not all fun and games. Five reports of a lion roaming the streets of